wet, wild, and wacky. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funny swimming pool scenes in movies. For this list, we are taking a look at the most humorous scenes from feature films that take place in or around a pool. Smiley. Number 10, Torture Track, Grown Ups. You're up, Hollywood. I'm up? All right, I don't know how you follow backwards. When Lenny Fader and a gang of high school buddies reunite for some water park fun, it's a local named Wiley who accidentally steals the show. By my feet? Yeah. Is that safe? What do you care? You're an animal. After a couple of adventurous kids and grown-ups sail through the air with no fear on the water park zipline, the easily influenced Wiley takes orders from his bossy pal Dickie and launches by the tips of his toes. Right through a shack. The crowd is almost scarred for life, but the post-accident enthusiasm of Skinny Wiley has everybody cheering. Nobody rocks a body cast like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Number 9. Toe Blower, The Big Lebowski. Blow them. Huh? Shortly before all hell breaks loose in this Coen Brothers classic, the dude, also known as Jeffrey Lebowski, meets his namesake and his sexed up wife named Bunny. You want me to blow on your uh, toes? Uh huh. As the nervous Brant stands by, the woman with the bright green bikini makes a rather odd request and follows it up with a blunt negotiation for a poolside BJ. I'll suck your cock for a thousand dollars. Leave it to Brant to break up the action while completely taking the comedy to another level. That's marvelous. Unfortunately, Bunny disappears and the dude never manages to cash in. Wonderful woman. We're all, we're all very fond of her, very free spirited. Brand can't watch though, or he has to pay 100. Number 8. The Big Splash, Shallow Hal. Excuse me, sweetie. Professional. Hal Larson dreams of landing a perfect 10 in this Farrelly Brothers comedy, but a hypnotic encounter with the one and only Tony Robbins changes everything. No longer does Hal creep around pools looking for hotties. Now he enjoys a little quality time with his girlfriend, Rosemary Shanahan. You wanna see a splash? Good I'm gonna show you a splash, ready? Her inner beauty outshines her rather plump figure. But hey, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, even after a monster cannonball that leaves a child emotionally damaged and lodged in a tree. Number 7. Finding Francis, Pee-wee's Big Adventure Before the eternal boy treks across the country in this Tim Burton flick, he tracks down the one responsible for stealing his spectacular bicycle. Do you want to buy my bike, Francis? Who knew that Pee-wee could be such a badass, confronting his man-child rival Francis like a boss in his swimming pool slash bathtub? Ow! With no fear of retaliation, or even the filthy, filthy water, the bow-tied maniac defends his bike's honor and escapes like a Pee-wee version of Harry Houdini. Pee-wee! Pee-wee! Of course, he was to go on to bigger and better adventures. Well, goodbye. Number 6. Stolen House, Beverly Hills Cop 2. Hey! When the mastermind criminals behind the alphabet crimes terrorize Beverly Hills, Axel Foley hops on the first plane from Detroit to whoop some ass. After all, the new police chief is trying to push out his old pals Taggart and Rosewood. It's beer and refrigerator, and if you like, you can go behind the bar, make yourself martinis. Wait a second, y'all on duty. No martinis for you. Perrier water is what you want, right? After fast talking his way into a vacated mansion, Foley steals the house and invites his friends over to show off. How the f can you steal a house? This is my uncle's house. Despite the hard ass demeanor of Taggart and well placed wisecracks from Rosewood, Axel still manages to find humor in the situation and frazzles them even more. Oh, well, look at the big titties! Yo, man, look at this titties, orange juice, beer. Will you go put your trunks on and get in this pool? Number five, the triple Lindy back to school. What dive is he gonna do? The triple Lindy. So what if Michael Phelps won 22 Olympic medals? 
Have you ever seen him perform a triple Lindy? There will be an additional springboard installed for Melon's Dive, the triple Lindy. Is that hard? That's impossible. In this Rodney Dangerfield comedy, the wealthy Thornton Mellon goes back to college to help his humiliated son and finds himself center stage atop numerous diving boards ready to perform the impossible. <laughs> What follows is a defining moment of 80s comedy, with the wrinkled student bouncing from board to board with style and grace. Mojoholics, don't ever try to imitate the triple Lindy. You have officially been warned. Number 4. Spank Bank – Fast Times at Ridgemont High Speaking of unforgettable 80s movies and Judge Reinhold, few scenes have managed to combine sex appeal and comedy, like Amy Heckerling's coming-of-age film. When Brad Hamilton allows the unassuming Linda Barrett into his spank bank, he imagines the gorgeous brunette lustfully approaching as her bikini drops. Boom. Classic nude scene. Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. Which we won't show you. But then reality hits and the doors literally swing open. Oh, wait just a minute. Boom. Classic comedy. And definitely one of the most hilarious pool scenes of all time. All Brad can do is shake it off, which comes naturally to him. Did anybody f Knock anymore? Number 3. A Fokker Fail, Meet the Parents. When families unite for a weekend of matrimonial bliss, a group of fun loving guests and one worried Fokker engage in a most violent game of pool volleyball. Greg doesn't have the most dead on serve and seems to be afraid of the big bad ball. Greg is afraid of the ball. Come on. This is However, the game goes on, and he takes his teammates' advice just a little too seriously. We're getting cream, people. Oh, Florence Nightingale over here play a little defense. The result? A bloody mess in the family pool. And one very concerned father-in-law. Well, potential father-in-law, that is. Some people just aren't cut out for pool shenanigans. Especially this fucker. <laughs> Number 2. The Sound of Silence Old School. Hello, darkness, my old friend. In Old School, Frank Rickard finds himself floating in a tranked up slumber to the sound of silence. Yes! That's awesome! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! How did he end up like this, you ask? Well, this. And this. And this too, of course. In the end, Frank the Tank spoils the Campbell birthday extravaganza and awakes from his tranquilizer nightmare only to find himself in another. <laughs> Referencing a famous moment in The Graduate. This pool scene reminds us that it's all fun and games until a man with a devastating mullet shows up with a tranquilizer gun. Whoa. Yes! Before we take a dip with our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. This magic moment. <laughs> so Little perfect. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Cannonball! Number one, Baby Ruth, Baby Duty, Caddyshack. Want some? Oh, give me some. Who asked you? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna need a bigger pool. <laughs> a giant-sized Mr. Hanky terrorizes the occupants of a swimming pool in this famous golf comedy. 
as people of all ages flee for their lives and attempt to save an oblivious snorkeler. <laughs> what transpires is the ultimate nightmare for any swimmer, coming face to face with a giant duty. In the end, Carl Spackler reveals the truth to the horrified public with one tasty bite. It's no big deal. Oh. You'll never look at a baby Ruth the same way again. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite funny swimming pool scene? For more mind-blowing top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.